Hamas bigwig rejects two-state solution, says October 7, revived dream to free Palestine. This post received a score of 4,300, with an upvote ratio of 87%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Guess they wanted to remain a dream. Of course. Hamas isn't trying to implement any kind of practical plan. It is supposed to be an unreachable, aspirational goal because the aim is for control over the Palestinians, their funding, and to continue their war, not to actually give them a better life. What George Carlin joked about the American dream goes doubly for Hamas sales pitch. Well, and the destruction of Israel. That's what Hamas, Iran want, and Russia, China, and American, progressive, groups are eager to help BC they know it will draw the US further into the quagmire. What does his dream of freedom include? Democratic freedom? No. Religious freedom? No. Press freedom? No. Women's freedom? No. LGBTQT freedom? No. He wants freedom to keep exploiting the Palestinian people and to live in luxury. It means the same it always has from violent people. Freedom for me to do what I want. Hamas is really leading the Palestinians to zero state solution. And the majority of Palestinians are supporting them. Hamas bigwig basically says October 7th, a slaughter of 1,000 plus civilians and taking 200 plus hostages revived the dream of free Palestine. Hum. Palestinian freedom is always due close. Just a few more massacred Jews away. Now hold that AK-47. Greater than Mashal noted that the slogan is also regularly chanted at rallies by American students and in European capitals. And said that the October 7th onslaught has revived that dream. Our college campuses are quite literally the useful idiots for rapacious terror organizations. Why did that happen to our colleges? A local professor told students there was a pro-terrorist protest. The pro-terrorist protest in question, an anti-Hamas protest staged by a local Iranian group. It was countered by the pro-Palestinian group. I hate it here. Literally people bringing their bullshit from overseas and smearing it all over the place. Doesn't Iran support Hamas? Iranians in the West. The poster above appears to be in Canada. Are much less likely to support the Iranian regime. This. Iranians in the West understand how terrible the Iranian government is. Most of them fled after the revolution. It's okay to dream. But at some point you still need to wake up. Hamas doesn't give a shit about liberating Palestine, that's never been their goal. Their goal is, and has always been, to turn the entire region into an Islamic theocracy they control while killing off anyone non-Muslim and who wouldn't support them. And other Muslims who oppose them. That's why they were kicked out of Libya and Jordan. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.